Hey guys, Bassmaster Elite Series Pro Drew Cook here with Bass Resource. And the question is how to fish a crankbait from the bank. Um, my first answer to that question is going to be a rattle trap. This is the Spro Aruku Shad uh, lipless crankbait. You can stand on the bank, throw it out to 10 foot of water, let it sink to the bottom, and fish it from 10 foot all the way to one foot. And to be efficient from the bank throwing a crankbait, this would be my number one. Um, and you know, any size of this would work. This is a, the 50 half ounce size. You could get bigger ones, smaller ones. Um, pond fishing, you know, this is, this is a, it's a catcher. It catches bass and it's caught bass for forever. So the versatility of it is what makes it so loving for a pond angler. You know, I would, I would throw this on, uh, you know, a, seven three to seven six but it doesn't really matter whatever rod you have i mean i'm using a dobbins champion xp but it, say if you have one 735 dobbins cranking rod you can throw this bait on that you can throw a square bill on it you can it's very versatile and that's one thing about fishing from the bank is you don't have the luxury of all these boxes like i do in my skeeter boat right here you have what you brought with you. So you might have a backpack with a, you know, a few baits and maybe two rods, a casting rod, or maybe a, three rods, a cranking rod, a, you know, a worm rod and a, and a spinning rod, something along those lines. So you have to be efficient. You might have one box this big that you put your hard baits in. So if I was gonna build that box and I, I could only put two baits in there, it would be the Spro Aruku Shad. And then my next one would be the square bill. The square bill in a pond is just phenomenal. But it's one of those things that you can, you can get on the bank where you're standing and throw it down the actual bank and it not be, you know, too deep or, you know, it's, funny because we are on boats fishing the bank and when you're on the bank people feel the need to fish in the middle so you still fish the bank you're just fishing from the bank so you would just stand on the edge and you know make a parallel cast to the bank and the spro uh fat papa square bill is is great for that it's a and it's a smaller size so you catch a lot of fish um and like I said, I've got this one on a 735 Caden Dobbins cranking rod, but you could put it on a seven foot. It, you know, it doesn't matter. And if I had to put one line on one reel to go to the pond and fish off the bank for, you know, cranking reeling, I would put 14 pound Sunline Sniper. It's just a great all around uh, line, perfect for throwing the shallow crankbait and for, for throwing the Aruku Shad. You know, this is, a bait that you can throw and, and run it into the rocks along along the dam or you know trees lay downs that are in in the water and you know stumps and one thing that i really love about this bait and that a bank fisherman would really appreciate is how easily it comes untang unhooked you know un unstuck so whenever you 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 run it into the the stump or whatever it may be the way this bait designs the buoyancy and the bill, when you pop that line, it's gonna free it up and float right back up. So you can't just troll motor over there to the, to the stump and get your bait back whenever you're on the bank. You have to make a decision whether you're gonna break it off or you're gonna go swimming. And you know, a lot of times you really don't wanna go swimming. So that is one thing that, that is really great about the Fat Papa Square Bill. It, it it comes through the cover really well, and whenever you do, you know, get it hung, you can a lot of the times snap it off, you know, get it snap free, and get your bait back so you can continue fishing down there. Um, and I would keep my colors very simple. Obviously, we're still in a box this big, so we don't have a whole lot of room for tackle. I would have something that had a little bit of chartreuse on it, like a citrus shad type color here, a regular, you know, a sexy shad color, um, and maybe a, a bluegill or brimish color, because a lot of times in ponds there's not that many shad, 
but there's a lot of bluegill. And sometimes you can catch some really big ones on, on bluegill baits too. Now for the Aruku Shad, chrome and blue, chrome and black, um, can't beat it. They just, it just catches them. Anything that resembles a, a, you know, a bait fish of some type, whether it be minnow or you know, if you actually have shad in there, or you know, a color like this is the perch color, but this is a, a great bait I love to use because it, it I mean, it looks kind of like a brim, kind of like a perch, kind of like a shad. You know, if they're eating any of those three things, they're gonna bite that bait. And being efficient whenever you're fishing from the bank, that, that means a lot. But that's what I would do if I was fishing from the bank to be efficient. Uh, so make sure you check these out for your next time bank fishing.